It is post-operative day number 10. I think you can see that comparing the right leg with the left leg, the swelling is down some. The, the legs might look comparable in size. Um, the right leg musculature is less than the left leg musculature. Um, and that was from before the surgery because the malfunctioning knee just made that leg hard to use and maintain the musculature in. Um, so even though they're about the same size, that means the right leg, the operated leg is still swollen. I've showered a few times, I've changed the dressing. Um, the steri strips are still intact on post-op day 10. I'm still maintaining uh, reasonable pain control on ibuprofen and uh, Tylenol. Um, sometimes the pain will wake me up at night um, or keep me from going to sleep uh, briefly, but I'm usually able to deal with it and fall asleep. Um, you'll see the bruising, which isn't so evident from the front. I think you'll see that in the back. And I'll show you how I'm walking on day 10. Remember, everybody's progress is different. Some people will go faster than I'm going. Some people will go slower. Everybody will have their own personal course. This just happens to be my course of progression. I'm stiffer and the knee does not have as much flexibility as it did a few days ago. Do, doing this physical therapy exercise where you sit in a chair, you put your leg out in front of you and you pull your heel towards you and then you sit forward on the chair. This causes certainly some discomfort and stretching across the front of the knee. But you can see where I am on post-op day 10. Another exercise with my hands on a supporting table. Legs straight, back straight. Lifting up the heel, flexing the knee as much as possible. Holding it, experiencing tightness, discomfort across the front of the knee down again and multiple repetitions to try to increase flexion and strengthen the hamstring, hamstrings. Another exercise, lifting the knee forward and then trying to flex the knee and down again and lifting the leg up as if I was going to climb the stairs, flexing the knee as much as I can, and down again. Last demonstration of post-op day number 10 is on the stationary bike. This one happens to be a Peloton. And I hadn't been on it for a few days and yesterday discovered that I couldn't comfortably make a full revolution. So, I'm doing partial revolutions, as you see. And it's always easier after a knee replacement to pedal backwards than it is to pedal forward. I might be able to get to a full revolution pedaling backwards if I keep up this steady, slow repetition, trying not to force it, trying to just gradually stretch and increase the flexion in the knee. I got over the top that time.